right, second review for tonight. Also digital. Um, it's the newest one by Amanda Lovelace. Oops. It's called Unlock Your Storybook Heart. And I'm giving it three stars. And I'll show you cover. There we go. All right. Well, Amanda Lovelace um, writes poetry. And I started reading her books hmm, a couple of years ago. And I enjoy every one. Okay, maybe the last one wasn't as great. But this one's great. Um, this, she said, is the last of her trilogy for this one. Based off of fairy tales. Um, I loved, loved, loved this one. Uh, it wasn't too depressing this time around. Um, very cute. Very cute poems about love, about strength, about viewing yourself as beautiful. It, a lot of them just touched my heart. Um, gave me the feels. Love when books give me the feels. So, um, nice, uh, beautiful illustrations inside throughout. And I, I loved it. It was a perfect book to end the trilogy of these poems. So I can't wait to see what she does next, but I was very happy to read this one. So yay. Um, if you are a fan of poetry, um, I would definitely recommend her and her books. Um, and I would definitely read these. So Sorry, I just get so excited when I talk about it because I ne I'm not, I, I don't like poetry that much. I never did. And when I started reading her, I started enjoying it more. And then I pulled up rupees and started enjoying that po poetry. So I'm getting more into it now because of Amanda Lovelace. So, <sighs> plus her poems really affect me um, like nothing else has, so. <laughs> so I'm very happy alright so I'm going to show you the cover again it's Unlock Your Storybook Heart by Amanda Lovelace and I'm giving it three stars I was like backwards three stars alright um, that is it for me today um, I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend mine just started as is to say why I'm drinking uh, <laughs> today's my Friday so I will be enjoying my weekend starting tomorrow so I know I'm saying so a lot. I don't know why. All right, guys. Have a great night. Happy reading. And I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. Bye.